Hey, how are you doing, sir? Yeah, doing well, doing well. I've just hit the record button. I'm going to switch over to video here if I can. Yeah. Waiting for a song to come up. Oh, Jesus. Doc, you think I'd... There we go. Sorry, I'm lopsided. <laughs> I, I, I am putting no chance whatsoever at risk. We've had a beautiful day. We, uh, we While we didn't get a worm drowned uh, or a lure wet, uh, we had a great day with Atlas at the park and my nice. grandson. And, so, uh, so, so you went, so you went here, fishing, uh, but didn't go fishing. <laughs> well, I did. I did take the time to to rig up my gear, and well, quite frankly, the the bank we were on is way too steep for Atlas. Ah, oh, yeah. So, uh, but, but we we know exactly where to go, and we're looking at a membership at a a beautiful little honey hole that I would never have guessed was there in Elizabeth County. Wow. So, I was just tuning up my. Kalimba. Yep. And um, I was wondering if you might entertain. Um, let's let's step out of character, if you will, as you're the the microbiologist, and me with what I do. Yep. And let's let's have some fun on uh, a, a real life collaboration on some findings I've recently found. Mm -hmm. Uh. You mind if I just kind of clarify who I am? Yep. And okay. and our relationship just a little bit. Yep. Yep. Perfect. Would Would you agree, Dr. Karen, uh, that we just really crossed paths what three months ago, something like that? Yep. Yep. And that kind of time. time <clears throat> yep. After, and with you in New Zealand and me all over the U.S. in aviation, but would you agree? There's no other chance but random that that we we started discussing things yeah yeah look um for, from what i i kind of understand what random is it's it's a misunderstanding of uh <laughs> of of the state of play but uh yeah you could say it was random let's let's let's, park, let's parking lot that for just a minute yep uh i am and uh, you know I have a business, much like your Quantum Technologies Limited and uh, Quantum Biology Research Institute out of New Zealand. Yeah. You're you, and I'm Black Hole Decisions, uh, and I just formally came from a very highly regulated, government-regulated world. Yep. And the only government agency that ever paid me anything was my career in the U.S. Air Force. Is that a fair? Yep, that's a fair. fair. Yep. And we've run into some other folks that that, that kind of came up with the same numbers we did. Is that fair? Yeah, yeah. Look, um, okay. uh, the numbers the numbers are robust, so it's uh, it's a pathway forward. So, yep, people are finding finding the similar solutions definitely. Yeah, and and we're recording this with both you and I knowing. Uh, there's there's no edits. There's no uh, parsing. We're we're just you and I are, are talking like we have been yep. uh, for the last what probably at least and yeah. uh, of the three. And uh, there's members of Black Hole on my company uh, and some associates uh, that are may join in on the call. They may not. Yeah. Fair. Okay. Yep. Yep. And uh, we want to have a discussion about, uh, in this case, a good blend of atom with mm. electron positioning yep. and uh, something that's called the Bose. Mm. Uh, that that uh, the Large Hadron Collider in CERN, out of the the border between France and Switzerland uh has discovered and yeah. and can even can for a short amount of time yeah and and with some collaboration with those folks and uh, a place called fermi lab f-e-r-m-i-l-a-b yep 
uh, out of Chicago, USA, uh, having to do with a wonderful project that essentially has already started, but it's not supposed to be in full production until about three years from now. You agree with all that? Yep. Yeah. And we are going to formulate a bridge discussion. Uh, in this case, this discussion, uh, the Bible, mm -hmm. and E equals squared. E equals MC squared. Yep. Okay. Uh, so you know, let's 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 break this into parts. Because uh, while I'm I had an affinity for, for uh, physics way back in high school. Immaculate High School in Danbury, Connecticut, a wonderful place. Uh, it's a spy town is what it is. That's where all the uh, satellite and U2 photos and all that stuff came to uh, to be analyzed. Right. Uh, as well as, you know, they made the Hubble uh, mirror uh, right there in Danbury, Connecticut. Union Carbide was there when uh, the uh, India thing happened. Uh, and uh, so on and so forth. Yeah. And uh, likewise, you're in, you're in uh, Tolkien territory uh, mm -hmm. with a book that started with the hunt yeah. and moved into the rings. And, uh, and we like to associate, uh, if you will, in this case, Bible stories with a, uh, a way to keep the story pure in the firm, uh, in the in in the form and the genre of film, in this yeah. case, yeah. and we vary, right? We when you and I have had what eight, no more than ten actual conversations, I don't believe, uh, yeah. you know, while yeah. we text back and forth. Yeah, and uh, would you also agree we have not in any way, shape, or form rehearsed this in any way, shape, or form, and this no is need? really <laughs> out of yeah. yeah, we've been been trying to match schedule because yeah. while i'm retired of a sort, sort of uh because i knew i was retiring and just my dna yeah. in aviation just you know you gotta you know you gotta do something uh and probably my worst vice is i smoke cigars yeah amen i mean today i'm gonna keep this one pure for just that's a bit of an example uh anything you'd like to add sir before we enter into a, a very frank discussion yeah, on yeah, a collaborative I, effort between Black Gold LLC and which one do you want to use? QBRI and quantum technology? Yeah, just it's it's all kind of one at the moment. It, it has to kind of be separated into separate entities eventually, but uh, having to go through that kind of registration process of a charity in New Zealand, uh, it's going to take a little bit of time. Um, yeah, look, my background, I've got a a uh, number of degrees more in that kind of biological space a phd in biochemistry masters in molecular genetics never been taught physics um and my kind of path into this kind of quantum biology has been one through a i guess a, a necessity to explain an experience that I had in order to kind of reconcile the experience with the scientific model that I knew as a, as a biochemist. So I they've saved that one because in our discussion that date, as you know, as well as members of, of both our organizations now, yeah. uh, sym symmetry and astrological, blah, 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 all the way down to the central nervous system has to work the same. Because yep. it's nature. Yep. And, you know, like it or not, uh, believe in God or not. Uh, so secular LGBTQAA plus, 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 maybe another plus to come. Hard to tell. Uh, but uh, we, we really have found out some significant math that proves a oneness, uh, a singular. Yep. Uh, yep. So, so much, much. Much like if you, if you if you if you took an hourglass and and called them left and right lungs, yeah, that there's an in between called the heart, and that would essentially be a, a center point 
creator, a programmer, uh, using uh, can work as data pa data packets that can kind of blend. And we'll get to that in a minute. But is, yeah. is yeah. that are we following? Yeah, yeah, are we following pretty good. You can take it so, into that kind of fractal. So just, just just quick. So yeah. if, if yeah. So, yep. so if we if we actually took that center point, the the uh, a apex or apogee, depending on where we're atmospheric or or in space, yep. uh, that could be represented in um, a crystal right here in the center. Yep. Uh, uh, a hollowed out endpoint. And a crystal that's that's backed with some necessary elements uh, to intersect life band planets with Earth. Earth is one. Is that a fair scientific uh, eighty thousand foot view? Yeah, yeah. Look, um, if if you look at the orbital layers within atomics and and look at the the sun as the central point in the orbital layers of the planetary um, solar system, then, you know, obviously people have known that there's similarities between the two um, in that yeah. Newton Newtonian perspective. And when, when you look through from that point in the center, you can see the, the symmetry of either side being reflected kind of like a, I, I like to explain it like a pinhole camera because you can make a pinhole camera and when you make a pinhole camera you get the inverted okay so as you can see on this clock I'm not sure what phase we're in it might be blinking which is which is, is somewhat critical uh it's uh now 5 33 which in atomic time is just a few seconds before atomic time 5 33 Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if that came through, but that's what it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now, your science has much, much, if not everything, to do with the theory of everything and how it relates to self-healing, your product, uh, which, by the way, I'm still waiting for my Manuka honey. Uh, to, what's which, what's which, Sean doing? Do what's Sean that? doing? Surely New the U.S. isn't that big. It doesn't take that long. <laughs> well, well, you know, you know, family God country. You know, yep. Sean is uh, taking care, much like I do, much like you do, and and we're all regular folk, right? Yep. Right. Yep, totally. We would sit down and buy a fire, drink a beer, play some music, sing a song or two, maybe dance. Uh, so you know, we're we're family folk. Yep. Uh, I know all the members of Black Hole are, and I'm assuming everybody in quantum technologies and QVRI are, are regular family folk. Definitely, definitely, yeah. Okay. So, uh, you know, if, um, if if we went through an experience I recently had last night, as a matter of fact, yeah. and uh, described it to you, and and uh it, and in this case would you mind covering kind of the bible aspects uh the importance of what i would term in aviation was an immelman move right i m m e l m a uh which is a dog fighting thing for yep. entanglement much much like a dna inside a cell getting ready to make another cell copy print all the dna code blah 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 blah, blah and add up in time yeah. It eventually divides, right? Yeah. yeah. But but that process just goes exponential very quickly, very yeah. quickly. And so uh, both you and I and others on our own have realized something that is, we've been referring to as quantum tunneling. Yeah. Uh, and so I'm, I, I might, if the sun comes out, I might look into the sun and quite frankly, I'm doing an experiment right now. Uh, I'm trying to wean myself off allergy medicine because I had a dog back when I lived in Kansas, Wichita, Kansas, I hunted a lot. And opening day of dove season <clears throat> where everything was dead, but 
notch in the air. Yeah. Kind of like neutrinos might be. Yeah. Um, it, it, it would, I would swell up like, so I, I, anyway. Uh, so I have terrible allergies. And I've been trying to wean myself off of that with just using, much like I used after four and a half years with a paralyzed right hand vocal cord as a as a factor of IMRT radiation therapy mm-hmm. and chemo that yep. I had to go through for stage four throat cancer, where I completely for nine months, believe it or not, could not eat, talk, or taste. I'm a chef. Wow. Uh, for about nine months, year and a half. Yep. Uh, and I got a lot of doctors right now scratching their head out of suddenly four and a half years, it just came back to life. And I came back to life in a rain, voice range that was improved from before I even had cancer, which is impressive to me. And it humbles me yeah. to no end. Yeah. So um, let's. Um, you could say it was a gift, right? A miracle. It, if you could bring us in to uh, from behind mm. Uh, mm. the installation of. of inhalation compaction and get us uh, i'm just gonna run check the chickens real quick yeah and run us through uh to adam ant adam the ant and, okay. and the boats okay. would you feel comfortable doing that through the lens of religion or through the lens of physics all right so the the model being developed and it's not complete but it has lots of components that really define the structure of the universe before the beginning of time um really what this uh, singularity is that resulted in the formation of the universe the Hebeck isotropic singularity, so a helium Bose Einstein condensate, and the functional mathematical features of that that lead to the inflationary phase and dark energy and the implosive dark matter formation down at the singularity within each and every atom. So the model has an inverted symmetry nature and has like a pinhole camera aspect to it but it also relates directly to the teachings from christ and the bible now the the process of quantum tunneling and entanglement is really what comes through from the cross in the biblical context of the structure of an atom having the positioning of electrons and protons within it. The atomic cross? Yeah, the atomic cross. There is an atomic cross within every atom in the S orbital positioning of photons. So the S orbital positioning of photons places the electron and the positron in alignment with the photon geometry of the cross within the S orbital. And that is the transition state between photons and the formation of a proton and an electron. So two photons of light are tied together through the cross. And what we can see in the mathematics of that process is that the meson inverse square law allows one to position an electron in the orbital layer and it allows the gluon quarks to be inside of the meson quark yes so doc if we used uh how about we use the earth as the neutrons and protons and the moon as a hydrogen electron okay so what that analogy would give is Okay, we have the moon orbiting around the Earth. Okay. Yep. And Birds know. And for it to get there, okay. it's actually had to go through the center of the Earth 
the moon has had to come from the center of the earth. Switch um, you around just a little bit. Yep, yep. So the, the electron, the moon, which is negatively charged, actually becomes a positively charged down quark within the earth. And then a negatively charged up quark within the earth would go out in exchange to become a, a positively charged positron where the moon is. So there's an exchange in the beta decay process, beta plus, beta minus, between the quarks in the earth and the electron and positron. So you'd have to say that if there's a neutron in the earth, then there's also a positron and another moon, so to speak, circling the earth. Yeah. Now, now just by, just, just by really random because she was named before you and I met. Uh, yeah. This chicken is Oon is out of the 10 chickens I have. Oon is the egg sitter. She <laughs> is the one that after they all pile her every morning and lay eggs all around her while she sits and lays. So just marking a few. Nice. So the position of the neutron versus the positron and the position of the proton versus the electron um biblically in in our um neurotransmitter for an example dopamine where there's this atomic cross of the nh3 plus and the passion story that like is... like a like 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 a mirror. Well, I I could say it's if if you think about the the crucifixion and the and the three people being crucified, Christ in the middle, and there's two sinners on either side of Christ in the amen structure. Yeah, in the amine structure um, of hydrogen, that third layer of the hydrogen um, orbital layer I'm talking about is, is known as the passion line. So we have a passion line in hydrogen and three hydrogens on the amine cross. And we have the, yes. Please carry on. Okay. So the falling three times carrying the cross represents the falling three times of the hydrogen. When the structure of the proton and the electron isn't a proton and electron, but as two photons, when it becomes positron electron pairing that's when it's aligned with the photon geometry and photons have no mass and no charge. And it's through that structure of no mass, no charge, that tunneling can occur, falling three times from the passion line to the Barmer line, to the Lehman line, that N equals one, and then into the singularity within the nucleus of the atom. So there's a process yeah. which taking... Just, just to keep us... Kind of in sync. Yeah. Uh, go back to 2013, which would have been timed with uh, my retirement from Textron. Yeah. Uh, uh, 2013, you went through an experiment, an experience. Yeah. Uh, that you didn't see tunneling per se. No, it was. What I what I saw, I, I just really entered a room which wasn't of visible light. And what and, would that room be? Well, as I was going up to receive communion at church, um the the room I entered was essentially completely black. 
except this golden sphere of light in front of me with two smaller spheres of light on either side of that. So I... Here, here comes the interference we always get, right? Yeah. Pushed through visible wavelengths, right? If you think about what I just talked about before with the passion of Christ being the third layer, and then the Barma line visible layer is where where our vision sits with respect to the hydrogen Butter. biological processes. Yeah. And then I oh, went that. through, my vision went through the layman line UV, and all of a sudden everything's black. I all I get to see is the point light sources, the nucleus of an atom. So my vision took me down to an atomic level to see the nucleus of an atom as it was decaying. So I didn't, I didn't really, you would say I didn't experience tunneling. I, I experienced leaving my body. I left my physical body because what I what I witnessed even before the golden sphere of light was really a I had a connection to Christ on the cross. My mirror neurons in my mind put my body in a transfixed position of Christ on the cross. And so I was stuck in that position because of my mirror neurons. And I saw my hands carrying a orb of light up to this golden sphere to hand back the pain that I was carrying. So the, the experience was like, I don't know. <laughs> I was not really in control. My unconscious mind was in control of my experience and the conscious part of my experience was to leave my body, carry up this orb of pain that I had in me to let that go and give that back to this golden sphere of light. And by doing that, by putting that back into the central part, all of a sudden it unlocked that atom and that atom decayed and all of a sudden this imagery of future events in my life was witnessed like you could almost say it was like a near-death experience opening up that inner vision of future events in my life rather than a replay of what my life was when I when you die so in a in a sense it was the so, so point of the center of would you consider that deja vu or would you consider it like when you're driving home and you realize you forgot the entire drive you just know you're home safe which if you had to pick one or the other what would you say i would say it's more like a deja vu experience but I'm now living in that deja vu experience. So I all of a sudden will have a an aha moment as that was one of the images that I experienced back in 2013 in that downloaded NDE type experience. Yeah. So, so yeah. if uh, if an N1 electron had a one half rotation for blah blah blah. Yeah, well, I've been looking at that half rotation, right? And and it has to rotate 720 degrees for that yeah. ice spin of a negative <laughs> half. And and if you yeah, have that's, look that's, at the if if you have a look at the structure of that hexagon ring with its 120 degrees and six nodes, six points, that's 720. So this yeah, the hexagon is the inner eye of the single atom physics system that I'm building, um, so that isotope unstable atom system in the unconscious part of the mind. And that's really what the passion line is referring to in the passion of Christ. Uh, yeah. So um, just just to bring this to, to real world, yep. uh, E equals MC squared really relies on a singularity in a space-time continuum. Nothing, nothing, nothing new here, right? Nothing, no, new, nothing but, but you can you can look at the singularity through the rearrangement of Einstein from E equals mc squared to c squared equals e divided by m, and then look at the electromagnetic 
properties of yeah. both fields intersecting one another and seeing the point between the two. So, yeah, my point being, this doesn't violate uh, from from the big book, the top books, all the way down to E equals MC squared. It doesn't, it doesn't prove anybody wrong. No. It just makes us a little more right. Yeah, uh, I, I guess the point that I've really highlighted um, from rearranging Einstein, you put light first, light supposedly being the fastest thing. And then when you see that geometry, you get to understand the connection between positron and electron pairs. And, you know, the current standard model of particle physics doesn't have positrons in the atomic structure. So if Correct. there's no positrons in the atomic structure, then we have a particular framework for solid matter physics based on atoms. So my my model, because I'm looking at one atom at a time in that ring system um, through the passion line delivery of hydrogen and the formation of isotopes, I've included positrons in the atomic structure because the positron can account for the increased mass of a neutron. So a neutron has a heavier mass than a proton. Yep. Uh, I just wanted to, because uh, uh, we, we've talked about this. Yep. Uh, I, as a result of PET scans with you, both have experienced the injection of an isotope into our bloodstream. Yeah. A and I just had the advantage uh, through Duke University, uh, or not, uh, for Duke Medical, who saved my life with stage four cancer. Uh, I also had a very wide range of, or not, I will, no, seven weeks of cisplatin and IMRT radiation. So I've had I've had some I've had some stuff just yep. put through my body. Yep. That maybe I did not see reacts. Yeah. Anyway, go ahead. the the reintroduction of a positron into the atomic structure in in terms of atomic geometry, it really kind of makes makes mirrored symmetry within the atom um, obvious. It, it, it says that, well, we know that the positron is the antimatter pair to an electron. And this model, the supersymmetry inversion model, highlights that a neutron is really the antimatter particle to the proton. And you go, well, matter and antimatter annihilate and produce photons of energy, gamma rays. Yeah, well, yeah. And I, 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 you'll agree, I'm sure, uh, throughout our lives, timed in specific, uh, I, I call it base, uh, logarithm base four, yeah. moments in time, you and I have had some very significant symmetry while the circumstances may have been different. The, the realization of bleed to trauma has been realized in our life stories. And yeah. it's well documented. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And, and because of the timings of things, because of the way that the isotope unstable atoms work in the unconscious part of our minds, we are subject to the recorded life that's housed in our memory system and that memory when you would say that would start in in a uh, uh Sussian version ebic model um well i i i look at it right at the beginning of time to be honest um with the alpha particle oh, well, with Within, within, within a human, day. within a human being, right from conception, it, it's it's fundamental in terms of how biology creates structure. Um, so 
you know, if you think about why is a, an electron positioned at the particular orbital layer, um, how is it contained within that as a magnetic field line? How is it maintained in a position? Yeah. Uh, in our in our atomic model and relating it to AI, I, 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 I may have asked it, but I'm not sure I got ever a direct answer from you. Mm -hmm. So that may have been on. But if we think of AI, yeah. artificial intelligence, yeah. uh, uh, who will dramatically affect the world, you can mm -hmm. look at it negative, positive, but it is. Mm -hmm. uh, would you agree without empathy, without without human empathy? No emotions, because can't. Uh, but without true empathy, an AI computer cannot go sub N1 position on an electron orbiting around a uh, neutron proton. I would say oh, that so it, very it, 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 it really depends. Is it, is it going to be using isotope physics mediated brain type unconscious mind processing? Nobody's built that for AI, but that's inherently what our biological reality is based on and our emotional part of our being is connected to the water structure associated with those atoms as they decay it changes the functional properties of our biology so yeah i, yeah. I totally agree that ai hasn't got an emotional bone in its body um and it doesn't have a empathic nature it can't feel others emotions because our our sensitivity comes from the unstable atoms within us that operate faster than consciousness so our consciousness is slow in terms of the the nanosecond in terms of the picosecond or the femtosecond type isotope timings that are operating and it's those timings that give us our inherent empathic connection to one another yeah. Yeah. i just played just about five notes of a song and that vulture just came out of nowhere a little birdie but anyway 